What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Do Got coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and tonight, man, I'm going to talk about tonight's basketball game. You had the LSU Tigers, uh, the number 18 ranked LSU Tigers, losing to the Vanderbilt Commodores 90 to 99 to snap Vanderbilt's 26 game SEC loser streak, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. <clears throat> um, come give me a follow on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Um, come highlight at your boy, yo. Uh, obviously, man, this is a very disgusting and frustrating loss, man. Um, first off, before I get into my frustrations with LSU tonight, uh, let me give let me give congrats to Vanderbilt, yo. Um, they came out, they played well. Um, and a big congrats to Jerry Stackhouse, man. Um, taking this job, you know, we all know him from a player his playing days in the NBA. Um, was a very good NBA player. Um, I want to believe he was an All Star a couple of times. Um, you know, he came into a tough situation. Um, a team that did not win an SEC game last year. Uh, they fired their previous coach. Uh, I think his name Bryce Drew. Um, you know, they, they played Kentucky tough on the road um, the other night. But obviously, this is a team that was 0-8, yo. Um, like I said, lost every SEC game last year and was 0-8 up to this point this year. Um, and they did a good job, yo. Um, LSU came, especially at the end when LSU came with the press, you know, they broke it with ease. So um, I want to shout out Vanderbilt for that, man, and especially the head coach, Jerry, St Jerry Stackhouse. Um, you know, I kind of didn't like them doing the get the gap because, first off, this is a that's a football dance for one. And for two, you are still one and eight in the SEC, you know. But, <laughs> but I mean, hey, they college kids, they happy. So, you know, go ahead, whatever, I guess. I just didn't care for it, but who cares what I think? Um... This was probably the worst defensive performance that we've had um, probably in the Will Wade era, man. Uh, <laughs> if Will Wade didn't call off the dogs with 28 seconds left, they would have had 100 points. Um, 99 points is, is, is unacceptable to anybody. You know, it, it's unacceptable if we let Kentucky get that. You know, it's unacceptable if we let Baylor get that or Gonzaga, you know, one of these top teams, Kansas, get 99 points. But nevertheless, man, to let, you know, basically the word, the team that's on the longest losing streak in SEC basketball history to score 99 points is completely unacceptable. Now, granted, you know, um, I'm very upset. I'm very frustrated. You know, I don't want to act like it's the end of the world because we are still eight and one. We are still on top of the SEC. To me, this just means we got to win a game that we're not that, you know, they may think we may lose, particularly playing Auburn on the road. You know, we're going to have to go in there and win that game. You know, you got to win a, a still a game now. Um, but, you know, they played well defense, uh, offensively. I mean, obviously scoring 90 points, crashing the boards. But it just lackadaisical effort, yo, and, and not having attention to detail tonight. Um, and me knowing Will Wade, like I know, I know that the ne their next practice is going to be very dreadful and very hard, you know, and, and very telling, man. Like, you cannot let a team score 99 points. I know them young men, uh, number three, I forget his name, was just killing in the first half. And then the guy, I think it was Sedan, was killing in the second half. Both those guys had career high. I mean, the number three had a career high in the first half, <laughs> you know, like, you know, just poor defensive, the defensive effort. I don't know if it was a combination of us just overlooking this team, filling ourselves with the eight and no start in the, in the long winning streak, thinking, oh, this team Vanderbilt, you know, they're not going to play hard. They ain't going to try. I don't know if it was that. I don't know if Vanderbilt just executed beautifully. You know, whatever it is, yo, we, we can't have that happening, man. Um, you know, I get it. Losses like this happen, uh, especially this season. I mean, you've seen Kentucky lose to Evansville at home. You've seen Duke lose to Stephen F. Austin at home. You know, we've seen some upsets this season in college basketball. There's not one dominant team out there in college basketball this season. So this is the year of upsets. Um, and it's not that, you know, well, yeah, it is that LSU lost to an 0-8 team on the road. It's like, why we got to be the ones to end their losing streak, yo? It's that, but it's just, you know, I just didn't like the effort defensively. 
I love the way we came out and, and, and was aggressive offensively in the second half. Then we just let our guard down defensively, yo. Um, rim protection is a problem. Uh, you know, it's good to have a smaller lineup out there offensively, but defensively, unlike last season, we have no rim protection. Um, Emmett Williams is trying, but I mean, he's undersized. You know, um, he's crashing the boards. He's doing a great job. Trendon Wofford is playing big down there. Um, Darius days, but these guys are undersized. So, you know, it's going to hurt us as, as much, as great as we're going to be offensively. We're going to struggle a little bit defensively. But 99 points is unacceptable, yo. Um, we got to do much better than that. Um, we got Missouri at home Saturday. We got to make a statement um, and put this loss behind us. We frustrated right now, but obviously there's still a lot of basketball left to be played. And we are still number one in the SEC. Hopefully this is a wake-up call. But um, congrats to Vanderbilt and head coach Jerry Stackhouse on pulling off the upset tonight. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have LSU and NCAA basketball content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Um, y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, man, y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.